Hey YouTube, this is the Zebralight SC5. Yes, an elite mini flashlight. The overall length, 3.2 inches. It runs on a single AA battery. It's gonna come in a little box like this. An instruction manual. And it doesn't come with anything else except this pocket clip. Now this SC5 is kind of the new version or the newer alternative to this, right, which is the uh, SC52. They've re-engineered things so that this can give you 500 lumens, even a little more with the uh, cool white, over 500 lumens with just one AA battery. Now this can give you a lot of brightness as well, but you, to get the most brightness, you have to use a lithium ion a 14500 battery, right? But this will give you impressive brightness without having to use lithium ion at all. This just uses a plain old double A. And in order to do that, they've had to make it a little bit larger. These are the same length, pretty much, right? But the diameter, right? The newer one, a little bit larger in diameter. Now, if you're not familiar with Zebra Lights, they are a bit pricey, but they are very high quality. It's all machined perfectly. Perfectly machined. The finish is perfectly uniform. The button is responsive. Um, it's smooth. The threading, like when you have to replace the battery, the threading is done perfectly. It's just very well made. Okay, before we go on, let's actually demonstrate the light. The first 10 seconds I went out there, there was actually a rabbit there, so I was kind of chasing the rabbit. That's going to be the first 10 to 15 seconds. Okay, YouTube, I'm out here at 3.30 a.m. with this zebra light. This is the highest, the highest setting. This is how dark it is without a light. Pretty dark. Okay, and I just moved the distance uh, back, so this is a little longer range. Still very bright. Okay, and I moved even farther back, and still bright and even farther back, basically as far as I can go, and still fairly bright. All right, let me show you all the modes. This is the highest mode as we've seen. This is the medium mode, the medium mode right there. This is the moonlight mode, it's the lowest mode. See that there? Okay, strobe warning, we're gonna do the strobe. And that is the strobe. This is the beacon mode. See it flashing there? Okay, and here I just want to show you that it has a pretty good flood. I mean, it covers a pretty wide area. Here it is without light. Right, pitch black. Yeah, I mean, look how much it lights up. Pretty nice. And now I'm going to compare the uh, SC5 to the light that it's going, that it's kind of replacing. Okay, so this is the SC5, and this is the SC52. All right, which one is brighter? I don't know, let's just, uh, let's see. Let's try the SC5 again. Okay, this is the SC5, SC5, and now let's try the uh, SC52 once again. Okay, this is the SC52 once again. All right, and one more time, here is the SC5, the SC5, and here is the SC52 again. Well, I mean, they both look extremely bright to me. Okay, I hope you enjoyed that. Now, here are all the zebra lights I have. As I said, very impressed by this company. You know, this is the first one I got. It worked in extremely well, so I got these others. This is the SC32. All right, this is the SC52 the SC5, and the SC600. And I'll include links. I'll include links to all the videos of the individual lights. If you click one time, 
it'll give you the brightest mode. If you click twice, it'll give you medium. If you click more than half a second, it'll give you the lowest mode, that's moonlight. If you click three times, it'll go to the special modes, which are beacon and strobe. Okay, warning. That is the beacon. And to cycle, double click it again, and we have strobe. Now, if the light is already on, and you just hold it down, it'll cycle through low, medium, and high. Low, medium, high. Low, medium, high. Now this also has sub-levels. For every brightness level, it has one sub-level. So when you're in any brightness level, if you double-click it, it'll go to the sub-level. Now as far as replacing or installing the battery, unscrew the tail cap. And it's just that simple. As far as what battery you should use, they actually recommend Eneloop batteries, so I'm using an Eneloop Pro AA. I'll include a link to where to get these in case some people don't have them in their local stores, so I'll include a link for the Eneloops. It also has a battery charge indicator. If you click this four times, it's going to blink from one to four times, indicating how much charge is left in your battery. All right, let's do that now. One. Oh, see it only blinked once. Since I've been using this a lot, right, it's down to about 25%. Now the fact that this can generate over 500 lumens with just a regular AA battery that you can get in any just convenience store, that's amazing. I mean, most lights that can generate that have to use lithium ion batteries that you, you know they don't even you pretty much have to order them online so this is kind of a new level of development so yeah i mean i am familiar with the budget lights and they are workhorses but if you want to step up to a more high quality light yeah i would definitely recommend this all right this has been we all juggle knives and lights i'm out